Hi guys, it's Mrs. Ellis here trying to give you a real quick version um, if you're having trouble with uh, smart music. So one of the first things I would suggest is to do something that you're familiar with. So sixth and seventh graders, what you probably wanna do is go to your method book. Um, so how you would do that is that you would click over here under method book and it's going to bring you to a, a bunch of titles. So if you come down, scroll down to the very bottom, if you press number eight, you're gonna see the Tradition of Excellence book down here. So that one, that's book one for the sixth grade and Tradition of Excellence book two is right underneath that. So let's say I'm a sixth grader and I wanna work on Tradition of Excellence. So I'm gonna click Tradition of Excellence book one and it's loading it right now. And you're gonna see the picture of it. Okay, so if I go over here to open, I'm gonna see that it's set for me is set for a trumpet, but let's say I wanna set it for my clarinet. It should be setting for what you are, uh, your instrument, but let me set it for a clarinet right now because I happen to have my clarinet out with me right this minute. And then here under movement, right here, you're gonna be able to scroll down all the way down here. And the first few pages are basically the introduction to the book. But if you go through, you're going to see all these numbers here on the side. That's the uh, uh, assignment number that corresponds with your book. It's not your page number. So if I want to go to, let's say, um, something like the frog song, remember number uh, 34, that was a pretty easy one. We had fun with that one. You guys seem to like that one. So if I go to that one and I click on it, I can go to the green button that says open. And then it takes a few minutes, or not a few minutes, a few seconds to load that up. And it's doing that now. And then you're going to see it. Okay, so now you're gonna see a bunch of things up at the very, very top. Okay, the first thing that you're gonna see in the top left-hand corner, right over here, is you're gonna see the ability, let's see if I can draw this, the ability to increase your speed or decrease your speed. So let's say that you, um, wanted to lower the speed, you couldn't play it at 96 beats per minute. Let's say you want to only go to 90. You can click down to 90 and that will help you. Okay, over here, you're gonna see some other symbols here. You're gonna see the green button, which is the play button. So you can practice along with this now by simply just pressing the play button. It'll give you the tempo and then you can play along with it. So this is what it would sound like. Then it would repeat, okay? If I wanted to stop it there, I'll just stop it, okay? And then let's say that you practiced it enough and you're really, really getting good at it and you wanted to see what the score would be. You could go to the red button right here and the red button is the record button. And what that would do is that it would record you and I'll do it um, one time through and deliberately play a wrong note so you'll see what happens. So it's gonna go melodic through microphone, select that. And then it's gonna say, test your microphone. And of course, test your microphone. And then it's gonna say, start, okay? So now up in this top corner up here, you're gonna see my score. I got a 43%, okay? That's not a very good score. I would not save that one and I'd not send it to Mrs. Ellis. I would not be proud of that. So what I would do is take and look at the, the screen here, right here, it shows, red shows that I played a wrong note. So I deliberately played an F sharp instead of an F natural, okay? So that's lighting up that I played the wrong note. Over here in yellow, it's telling me that I didn't line up the beat exactly right. I 